Ohio baseball needed two victories and got two victories on Sunday at Bob Wren Stadium. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Max McDoolin joins me. Welcome inside our broadcast booth at the Wren, where Ohio won it 3-1 in game one and then won it in walk-off fashion 6-5 to sweep the twin bill from Buffalo and win their first Mid-American Conference Series of the year in three tries. And it was done in completely different ways. A tidy two-hour game in game one with good pitching and timely hitting and then a little bit more of a marriage in game two and a wild pitch to win it. Bottom line, Ohio got it done. They needed it, Max. Yes, no, they really did need it, uh, you know, to come out and get the sweep today after losing on Friday to take this series, their first Max series of the season. It can't be understated the value of this win. My favorite moment from this weekend, Rob Smith, you know, making a statement coming out on Saturday. We hoped we were going to get a game in. We didn't, but he came out in short sleeves trying to say to his players, we can make it through adversity. And they ended up making it through adversity today with two wins in the doubleheader. Ohio got great starting pitching from Jake Rudnicki in game one. Then Jake Rowan came out for a two-inning save. The timely hitting, well, John Adrian got a big blast. A Jersey John jolt over the wall in left, and boom, he came back with another one in the finale. If you take a look at it, game one, that was exactly how you'd like to start. A twin bill. Yeah, there's there's no doubt about that. And and we've talked about timely hitting all year. That's been a big theme. They haven't been able to get it. When they get good pitching, they're not able to push runs across. When they've struggled pitching, uh, they end up hitting but falling short there. Today, we saw good pitching and timely hitting, and that's going to combine for wins. Yeah, and it was a two-run two win in game one. Then in the nightcap, it took a little bit more. Ohio did trail mid-innings, and they squandered a chance with the bases loaded in the sixth inning with Mitch Longo up, but then they just kept on putting the pressure on. Good work by Tom Coletti. He ended up getting the win. It was a multi-inning work out of the pen for him, uh, but you put the pressure on the opposition. You have to force them to make pitches and plays. Buffalo didn't. Ohio got the wild pitch and wins. Yeah, and, and of course, it was a wild way to finish, yeah. but a win is well a win. I see what you did there. <laughs> exactly. Trying to get a little bit punny, I guess. Um, but, but like I said, a win is a win, and to take game two in in that fashion you know I, I think after you take one of a doubleheader winning two games in a doubleheader that's a tough task yeah you know and so uh, to take both uh, big for the cats 14 and 17 overall four and five in mid-american conference play here's a little bit of how it looked and sounded at the ran on a chilly Sunday <laughs> With two outs and a runner on second. Lifts one right side, diving there was the shortstop. Hafner couldn't make the play. A base hit in a right, the throw in, safe with a head first dive. He's not set into his closer ways yet. The 0 2 delivery, this is fired. Oh, a shot into right field, another base hit. And rounding and heading over to third is Mitch Longa. Misplayed in right field by Eddie Edwards, and he throws it back in. 1 2 pitch. Sawed him off, flares it into shallow left, dumps in for a base hit. That's a good piece of hitting by Cody Gardner. Didn't try to do too much with it. Rowan from the right, the pitch. Line drive to right, Giannini goes back, still on the run, settles, squares up, makes the catch right in front of the track. Rowan with the new baseball. Comes set, Gartner sets up outside of the 0-2. Bouncer off of Rowan at the mound. Runs to his right, picks it up, throws to first in time. And the Bobcats win it, three to one. Line score in the contest for the Cats, three runs, nine hits, one air. For Buffalo, one run, six hits, and no airs. Turns and fires on 2-2. Slowly, softly lifted into shallow left center. Coming in is DeJesus, makes the catch. 2-2 pitch from Connor Sitz. Swing and a miss. Strike three. 2-0 pitch coming. Longo swings. Lifts this one to left center field. It's in there for a base hit. It will split the gap. It will roll to the warning track. Longo hot foots it around first and stands with a double at second. 1-2 pitch. Called. Strike three on the inside edge. Here's the 1-0 delivery. This one 
Lined into center field, coming on for De Jesus. He dives and makes the play. Hang a star on that baby. That's a heck of a catch. The kick in the 2-1. Line drive, left center field. In there for a base hit. It's 3-0 Buffalo as it rolls to the wall. Scoring on the play is Taft. Killian gets a stop sign at third. It's a stand-up double for Kyle Brennan. 1-0 the count. Lead on it first by Road. And the pitch from Dubin turned on deep to left. If it's fair, it's gone. And that ball is fair and gone. And Ohio's down a 3-2. And the pitch. Bouncing ball could be two. Vakuda guided to the bag, fields that the ball, throws to first in time. 0-2, fly ball to left, sinking fast, in there for a base hit. Hitting third and trying to score is to Jesus. The throw will be cut off, and this is a tie game. Fastball, taking a left field. Longo going back towards the wall, just over the wall. Home run. And so just like that, Buffalo hops back on top. This one hit to the right side. Looks like the bat broke on the swing. And now this one's hit on the right side and through the hole. Gartner was turning at second, but holds there. So now runners on first and second. A single might bring him in. This one hit up the middle. Going to be a tough play for shortstop. It gets past him. Shepard into center field, but this one taken down the line in left field the other way. It's going to be a fair ball into the corner. Longo gets to it. It's going to be a stand-up double. As he attacks Malero here. This one taken into center field, dropping. De Jesus couldn't get to it. Now he'll field. Fire in. It's going to be cut off on a throw to the plate, and a run scores. This one swung on, heading towards center, dropping. It's going to get in for a base hit. De Jesus was running on the play, and then he stopped at second and gets to third. The throw went there from the center fielder thrower. Gartner didn't reach base. The 0-1, high, gets past the catcher. Coming to the plate is De Jesus. He will score on a passed ball, and that makes it 5-4. to four. Right side through the hole. The infield was in. It didn't matter, though, because Gartner hit it on a line into right field, and he ties it up with an RBI single. 1-2 pitch coming up. Swing and a miss, strike three. De Jesus squares to bunt. Puts it down, rolls it to third, and that's a great bunt. Bare hand there, throw to first, late. Road on the left-hand side. Kalen waits. Infield in, and there's a wild one, gets away, and Ohio wins. It hopped in, and Ohio wins, and they mob Mitch Longo behind the plate. All of the Bobcats come forward, and they absolutely go nuts. So yes, a wild way to sweep the doubleheader and paint both games green and white. And if you take a look at the lay of the land here, it's a one week shorter run in the drive to Avon in the Mid-American Conference Tournament. Last year it was nine weeks. With Akron dropping baseball this year, it's an eight weekend grind. So Ohio finally got this series win, weekend three of MAC play. And to stay in the race, to make sure that you have a chance to be there at the top or near the top of the end, this really was must-win territory for Ohio. Yeah, they got some momentum this weekend, but what's important is that they keep that momentum rolling. Right. And Bowling Green is a great opportunity to do that. Yeah. You know, they don't need to sweep them necessarily, but if you can win that series and win it kind of along the same lines of this right. one, you know, just show everyone that you're willing to grind things out and stay in this race. Uh, and being four and five now puts them in great position. If they come out of that weekend with Bowling Green at six and six or better, yeah. watch out for this Bob Kent. That's well done young man advancing the story to the next page and that's exactly where we turn to now it is a six game and eight day run for the cats which that's a lot of baseball no matter what level you're on Dayton on Tuesday on the road then we'll broadcast on WOUB from Stellar Field on Friday Saturday and Sunday as Ohio takes on BG we'll see you in Northwest Ohio good work this weekend thank you Russ good work to you too yep Ohio wins it 3-1 in the opener of the doubleheader and sweeps the doubleheader with a 6-5 win to take the series two games to one over Buffalo thanks to Jason Chapino and his entire Bobcat TV crew now for Max McDoolin I'm Russ Eisenstein so long from the Ram this is Bobcat TV